we've seen some rather artificial applications of the integral involving geometric figures, areas and surface areas and so forth. The time has come to tackle a more concrete example taken from the field of physics. And in particular, we are going to investigate the concept of work. So in this context, work has a specialized meaning work is done when an object is moved from one location to another. Well, moving an object requires force to be exerted on the object. And if you take an object and move it, let's say in a straight line for simplicity, from one location to another, then the work you do is the force you exert times the distance the object moves. Force can be measured in a few things, but at least for now, let's say force is measured in newtons and work is measured in joules and distance is measured in meters. Now the issue with this formula is that you need the force to be a constant. And in many real world situations, you might expect the force to be constant, but in many others, it won't be. Let's consider the following example. We've got an object sitting on a horizontal surface and we are pushing the object to the right. And the object is attached to a spring. Then as the object is pushed, the spring compresses. And as the spring compresses, 
more and more force is required to push the object. So we can't use this formula here because force is not constant. So here's the situation. Force is a function. You're pushing an object from A to B. And as you push that object, the force changes. And the question we are setting out to answer is how much work occurs in this situation. So in this video, we've introduced the problem and we've stated our goal. In the next video, we'll see how we can use an integral to answer the question we just posed.